Okay, um, in this video I'm going to tell you about and show you how to create the D72 SFX Mini. Um, this was formerly called the D Cloud Launcher and D7, but um, now it's it's a little more representative of, of uh, uh, what it does, and it's Mini, so I'm calling it Mini. Um, it's 281 kilobytes um, for my particular example. It can actually get smaller if you don't include a custom logo or larger if you include a large custom logo. Um, the entire point of the SFX Mini is to transfer this to the remote system which will transfer lightning quick through your remote support software. You can use it in your toolbox feature, um, instant house call, screen connect, um, uh, team viewer, they all have sort of a toolbox feature where you run a file on your computer and it executes on the remote computer. What it actually does is copy that file to the remote computer and then execute it in a temporary folder on that remote computer. Um, the problem with trying to run D72 through a toolbox feature by itself is D72 won't be able to access all of its configuration and dependencies. So it will re-download all of its dependencies. It will ask you to register it again. You, you just can't do that. So uh, you need to transfer D72 to the remote system. But instead of transferring five or six meg worth of bare bones D72 to the remote system, we're going to allow this SFX Mini to transfer to the remote system at 281 kilobytes. So it's going to go lightning quick. What the Mini does once it gets there is it downloads the latest D7 version from my website and then your latest configuration set and definitions from either dCloud or your own self-hosted FTP server. Um, first off, you need to configure D7 exactly the way you want it to work. Um, do that through the config. Um, save your auto mode profiles, do what you got to do, make sure it's exactly the way it is so you just need to click a few buttons to get things going. Next you want to open the dCloud portal or you can open your FTP portal. It depends um, if you're uh, allow if you have your own FTP server and you have your FTP server configured right here use your FTP server instead of dCloud for config def storage then you'll use the FTP portal um, if you don't have your own FTP server and you're not self-hosting then you can use my server which is dCloud so we'll, we'll use my server for this example um, but the FTP portal operates in exactly the same way so what I have here is um, I have my uh, dCloud portal and I have uh, an option to save config and what this will do is save your entire D7 configuration to the cloud. Um, in this case you just want to give it a name. I'm, my config name is Foo but you can type in any name you want. Um, select one from the list or type one in. Just click save current config to dCloud. Give it a moment and now you should see the config pop up. And we're pretty much done here. Um, ooh, wait, we also want to merge our definitions if you're using malware scan, deuninstaller, um, your startup kill, kill them all, those, all those definitions. You also want to merge or upload those. If you've never done it before, you can just upload them. If you have done it before, then you want to merge. Once that's completed, Close your dCloud portal. Now, click your main menu and then create D72 SFX Mini. It will ask you if you want to create it with, the, with this version. Say yes. Now, should it delete itself after extraction? 
Mm, I'm going to say no for this. This um, the actual executable that it creates will delete itself, and you don't really need that. So I'm going to say no. Um, the new window that pops up <clears throat> is going to prompt for a config or select cloud config to automatically download. Um, the difference here, when you run the SFX Mini, um, it will allow you to select the um, config or you can pre-select it here so you don't have any clicks to do. Um, you can also import a custom logo which I may have one. Let me find let me see. I've got something in stuff. What's this? The logo will okay it will appear right here just like this. So this will give you more than just a progress bar um, when you're doing it you'll have your logo displayed so if the clients watching you while you do your remote support it looks better because your logo is there now we got to choose where you want to extract d7 to the desktop or specify a folder below do not specify a drive letter if you do um, that will that will mess everything up um, d7 will two will automatically add the drive letter and the colon everything up to the first backslash it will add that automatically for the OS partition which is usually C drive so just put like backslash support and save now it'll say the mini is located on your desktop now let me show you what this mini actually is and does first I'm going to entirely delete my D72 directory from the desktop the mini, as you can see, in this particular case, is 281 kilobytes. That is incredibly small. The point of this is that when you're running um, D72 in a remote support situation, D72 is a big package. I mean, you're not going to get it below um, five or six megabytes uh, compressed. And um, even if you did keep a compressed archive, which you could, like, say, you know, put on your website and then download on the customer's computer once you're remote in, the, or leave on your computer and transfer it over and just wait for the incredibly slow file transfer of your remote support software, um, the problem then becomes you don't have a current version of your configuration set. You don't have a current version of your definitions. You don't have a current version of D7 if updates have been released since you created that archive. So that's where the mini comes into play. 281 kilobytes. Let me show you what happens. Now it's downloading D7 and it's downloading all of D7's core components and it's downloading your configuration and your definition set from the cloud so essentially all you have to do is use this in your remote support software's toolbox feature or transfer it to the remote system through the the transfer function but since it's 281 kilobytes it's going to go lightning quick once it gets over to the remote system lightning quick it will then perform these downloads and launch D7 for you automatically with your current configuration, the latest version of D7 downloaded from my website, your current definitions, everything is there. Um, and you'll see that it put it in the C colon backslash support backslash D72 as I had configured it. Um, that's about all you need to know about the SFX Mini. There also exists a full SFX, and I can show you that. The full SFX, I'll use Ultra Compression, and we'll have it not delete itself. The full SFX actually compresses everything in your D7 directory and makes this file, which is actually not bad it's 2.33 megabytes so in theory you could use the full SFX if you have any problems with the SFX mini 
Um, but I would just reserve that as a backup. Uh, because, like, again, 281K versus 2 meg. And depending on what you have in your D7 directory, that 2 meg may be 200 meg. So um, that's just another thing to consider. So that's the whole point of the D7 SFX line um, and the SFX Mini. Um, if you have any questions about this, of course, hit the forums, foolishtech.com, or you can email me, foolishtech at foolishit.com. I'll try to help you out. I hope this has been informative. Thank you for watching. You gotta fight!